Good afternoon, everybody. Um, here we are again, back with uh, another Steel Backs podcast, powered by the great Elgato. Obviously, now I've got some nice face cams, so there's a new setup um, in our new studio space. Um, I'd like to introduce Safe Zabe um, as a, a debutant to Peace. the podcast. Obviously, me and Vasco have been in here a few times, but yeah, you know, okay. Safe, welcome aboard, mate. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. Pleasure to be Good here. stuff. Um, so, yeah, let's just kick off, really. I think winter update. What did we get up to, lads? Yeah, yeah, so I think we all stayed here up until Christmas Christmas time. Yeah. I think did quite a lot of hard hard training. That's where we get the hard stuff done. Yeah. A lot of the fitness. You went off to uh, South Africa, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I went off to South Africa just before Christmas. Yeah. Had a bit of a two-week holiday and then back into work that side. How was that? It was good. I went down to a place called St. Francis, which is down, right. down on the coast. Yeah. The beach. Saw a video on social media. You're facing Brandon, so you got some good... Yeah, yeah got, some, got, got some, some good training. training. I was training in Benoni in South Africa. In okay. South Africa. Cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, outdoors the whole time. Had pretty much a carousel of net bowlers, which was really good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I feel like I've had some good good prep. You guys you guys also took a trip to South Africa, didn't yeah, we you? Did. Later than I did. But yeah, we did actually. Um, it was quite a last minute thing. It was kind of just, you know, for a month of training really. Um, Obviously, you know, we got quite a lot done before Christmas um, in the indoor school, but I personally felt not restricted, but to kind of, I, my game was ready to kind of see where it was at on, you know, outdoor wickets, outdoors. get get outside, get hitting balls. Um, just that more realistic training. Um, but I think it was a good stint. It was, good, it was a good month because now when it finished, I was ready to come back and join up with the team. It's a bit more organised, isn't it? When you're um, back with the team, it's a bit more yeah. scheduled. So, a bit of a structure. Yeah. Nice to have a structure. So it was good to kind of get away. Um, yeah, how about you, Seth? How'd you find it? Yeah, no, it was good. Good experience. Obviously, trained with um, Western Province, didn't we? So, yeah. you know, bowling to, you know, guys that have played, obviously, international cricket for them. And some of the guys actually played, uh, playing at the moment, like that, Bahrain. Down in New Zealand. Yeah, down in New Zealand. And he's just got, got a test 100, hasn't he? So... Um, obviously bowling at some pretty pretty good players and just sort of uh, it was a nice sort of just to get out out and about on it yeah. just to get a bit of sunshine and you know come back and unfortunately this weather isn't quite living up to the uh, no. Cape Town no. standard but it's still it's nice to be back only only five more days so that's yeah. it's also nice to to see what different environments are like hundred yeah, percent other teams hundred percent yeah hundred percent it was good we got any um, stories from South Africa any good experiences or yeah, you guys were sharing house, weren't you? you guys we were, awesome. yeah. It was four of us, me, Safe, Luke and Rob Keo, which was good. Um, challenging at times, I think, for all of us, but it was what good. Do you, what do you mean by that? Uh, just, you know, challenging. challenging. Boys challenges, boys challenges a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got the easiest to live with. Um, I have to put my hands up for that. Um, but no, it was good. I think we, one good thing about the group we were with, I mean, all of us are pretty good when it comes to fitness and stuff, especially Luke and Robert. As older lads, they set good examples when it comes to fitness. So we were doing loads of like running in gym, um, which was really good. You know, I think like each one of us helped each other kind of thing. It was also uh, nice to do the four fours in front of the waterfront rather than- Yeah. Like, rather, the trail, uh, when you can actually look, look at something. Rather, yeah. rather than <laughs> Barker's Lane where I live, just <laughs> against the wind, it's horrible. But yeah. that was good. Um, I guess when there's more than one of you, run kind of pushes each other. There's no, you can't get away with- not Exactly, something yeah, that. exactly. You, you feel a bit bad if anything. Yeah. yeah. You don't do anything. So. But that was good for me. Um, probably in terms of stories, one, one story sticks out for me and that was as soon as we got there, pretty much we broke down in the middle of the- <laughs> Busiest road. Yeah, in I Cape did see Town. that on Instagram. I know yeah, it was shambles. Who was driving? It was safe. Oh yeah, unfortunately. Uh, I think it doesn't surprise me that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I think I'm a good the, the lights on, but no, nah, it was good fun. I mean, at the time I wasn't smiling and laughing, but then you can laugh. And you sit laugh back about and, it now. Yeah. yeah. Now you can laugh. About I think it. every person that drove by gave us a beep, which is good. But which is good. <laughs> yeah. Drawing a lot of attention. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but no, I've, I've enjoyed it since we've been back. It's been good. It's been hard work. It's been yeah. A lot yeah, of we're things. doing a lot more trips to Loughborough. I've noticed, which, which is I'm nice. Enjoying getting that. to face, yeah, getting I'm to face it. bowlers a lot more. Full, full run up as well. Yeah, and probably send them down, can't they? Yeah, I'm enjoying it personally. Um, I just think there's a new. I've said this before to someone. I can't remember who it was, but I just think there's kind of like a new energy within this group. Obviously, we've got a new coach, new psychologist, new nutritionist, new change a lot it, of things. Though. Yeah, we've got like it's just there's a different sense to this group coming into coming into this season. I think it's yeah, exciting. 
I think yeah, it's I'm, exciting. Yeah, I'm excited it's for the season. I think it's going to be good. Yeah. All right, we've got a question here. Is it yeah. true that Rosso wins the bleep test every year? I can strongly confirm that is incorrect. Well, that's <laughs> just because we don't do the bleep test, isn't it? Well... <laughs> but if we did, if we did, if we did, if we did, if we'd come be, on. Yo yo, he never. You, he was always good at yo yo. Yeah, but, come but on, come he wasn't. On. No, he wasn't top. He wasn't. No, he wasn't. I mean, when yeah, I, I did it, it, it was me. That was me. It was nah. It I was, was not me. there. I wasn't there before. I'm sure yeah, it was Gareth. You were in the academy when you were still doing the. Yeah, the yo -yo I was in the academy. We haven't done the yo yo. For I was in the academy. I'm pretty. I heard Gareth Wade was was the the man. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. But it's not Rosso. But I think the one I did safe. Safe one the one I did. Yeah, I must have been. Um, I think must have been off for COVID for that day. <laughs> but I have to. I have to be honest. To be fair, Matt, to answer your question, Rosso is a very good runner. He is. He is. A he, is runner. he is very strong. He's yeah, a yeah, strong yeah. runner. He, he is. He's, he surprises you, doesn't he? Um, so I have, to, I, have to, I have to give him credit where it's due. Yeah, the two k two k time trial we did it this morning. Yeah. yeah. Little fitness. What thing. was our times? What was our times? I was bad this morning. I have to be honest. Bad. Yeah. So well, bad. The, I say near bad. The, near the front, bro. I was at the front. You, but you for, lapped Bergy. For, for me, I was bad. My, I got 6.50 last time. Yeah. I got seven minutes this time. So I've, I sh I've put on 10 it was, it was a slow track. It was a slow track. It was not yeah. great conditions. No, it was it windy. Windy, a bit of yeah, rain. It was. And it was cold. It was cold. cold. It yeah. was. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Vas? Well, do you know what you got? Yeah, I got mid 7.30s, 7.35, somewhere there. I was just behind just, you. Wasn't just I? pipped you, I think. Unfortunately, just. yeah. Just you, you just overtook me at the just, last last section. Just yeah, everyone's peaking at the back. right time. Everyone's peaking just before tour. Yeah, it wasn't. Uh, people are getting PVs, which is good. Yeah, um, needed to. A few people. Exactly. Yeah, needed to, <laughs> including myself. Another question from Matt: Who's the fittest in the squad? I mean, uh, it's got to be Brandon, isn't it? <laughs> absolutely not. I'm not having that. I'm not having that. Okay, well, let's go. Brandon, Tom, um, Keezy, Keezy's Rocky is also really Rocky's fit. up there. Yeah. 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 I think, I think that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. That's those are the, the top four, isn't it? Yeah. Really? Tom Taylor? Tom, yeah, I see yeah, Tom. Tom. I think he's pretty, pretty, pretty. I think good. I think we I'll, I'll take that one. I will take that one. <laughs> you do say so yourself. Yeah, I'll take that one. I mean it depends what you define as fitness, don't you? I mean, if you're talking about skin folds and running, then me. If you're talking about just strength, then I'm not in the picture, so it depends who's or quickest. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, you're too <laughs> speedy. You're a donkey. That is, yeah, that is very bad. 20 meter sprint. I actually think I am the slowest. Yeah, I think I'm the worst. Or second, I'm, I think maybe someone, I can't remember who. Got to be quicker than Bergie. No, I think it's Bergie, yeah, than me. I'm definitely bottom bottom three, definitely. My, my 20 meters was over three seconds. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm a long distance person. Long distance. Yeah. Endurance. Jack White. Endurance. Jack White's yeah. also really good. Jack White, yeah. He mm -hmm. missed it because of... Yeah, he did. Anyway, Ricardo, safe. Talk to him about your um, ECB Blast content day. That was cool. It was It was a lot of fun. That was actually good fun. I, I, originally, when, when Alex told us that we had to go, I was a bit... Yeah. I mean, an R ring, but it was actually... I actually quite enjoyed it. There are some cool questions and... Yeah, the interview part was cool. The pic like the pictures, stuff, were, the pictures and that stuff, stuff was right. cool. But yeah, I'm interested to see how, how some out. of those videos come out because <laughs> they were awkward. They, yeah, they were no, no, playing it was, cool. it was cool in the end. It was cool in the end. Yeah, cool. Mate, imagine, yeah. imagine the T20 game. game. No, it was at Edgebaston. Oh right. Okay, imagine yeah. T20 game and you know you just see your face there playing the bongos. How, how does that sound? Yeah, it all depends be, on how cool. it's edited. Exactly, yeah. You don't want that play in front of... No, if it's that edited, yeah. I'm playing bongos, air bongos up here and the actual bongos down there, then I look like a... I'm sure the yeah. ECB will sort you out there. They'll yeah. sort you out. Yeah, so. you'll, I'm sure you'll be I hope it will. No, it was, it was actually, yeah, it was a pretty cool day, actually. I quite enjoyed it. I did it. enjoy it. I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought it would. Yeah, anyway. same. Yeah. But. That's good. Good to Yeah. Yeah. So, show and tell. Well, Grey Nichols Factory visit, we've all been there. We've all done it. Yeah. Um, have you guys been recently? Grey Nicks. Grey yeah, Nicks. we went down. Grey Nicks team. Yeah. Yeah, Grey Nicks. Oh, Grey Nicks team. Yeah, Grey Nicks team now. New. The two new ambassadors. Two new new following, signings. Following my it should be called the Grey Nicks podcast. Yeah. <laughs> you could, you, I mean, if we have to say that. Yeah, it's all right. It was just like, see if it sticks. It didn't stick. So. Um, yeah, how was it? It's good. It, it was, was good. Cool, yeah, it's yeah. A, it was a long drive. But long, long, yes, a long very drive. Very long drive. Very long drive. Any modeling work? What's this all about? We took quite a few photos, yeah. We took. You sent me the photo. Oh, oh really? What have you sent? Uh, me? You sent oh, us all. Or just, uh, just, just Amelia. Oh, good grief! No, that was um. It was a cool. It's cool to like just see, like for me, like Baba's bats, Baba Razum, his bats. 
Yeah. Now I've got one of You've his got, lads. You've got the same shape. <laughs> same shape. Yeah, that's everything. good. That's nice, that. I don't, nice. Know if, I don't know if we can see that, but we'll zoom in. Yeah, baby face. Not sure where the camera is, but yeah. Good that. Nice. It's nice. Good, Serious good looks. Photo. Good editing, man. I've not been, I've not been <laughs> since COVID. <laughs> yeah, good editing. Good editing. Yeah. I've not been since COVID, but I always love going down. Yeah, it's always good. It's a cool fact. I, I had a cool fact to go meet meet everyone. Obviously, yeah, just signed. It's, yeah. it's yeah, good it's to great, great blokes. Yeah, really, really yeah. nice blokes. Really nice blokes. Yeah, no, it's re I love going down. I'm gonna try and go before the season, but really good blokes. And like, I've always found service and stuff is top draw. Yeah, it says thoughts on the modelling work as well. What, what, what do you reckon about that? I think we need we need good editors. Say, is there a future career? Is there a future career there or not? Modelling. Yeah. No, I think it's more radio. Radio. Face for radio, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. That's definitely yeah, harder. Okay. It's just my yeah. expertise is obviously modeling. Modeling, yeah. Take all fed with day safe. Yeah, no, it's show, us, show us, <laughs> show us, show us what's going on. Right, it's, pen, it's, pen, it's pending. It's pending. <laughs> we'll be ready for season. Right, ready for what season. do you guys reckon of the new training kit? I think it looks cool. I like it, yeah. yeah I, I like, like it. it. We got like it today, it. didn't we? It's, it's like nice, yeah. I like the uh, brand new, nice design. I like the design, yeah. Like it, comfy. Yeah, it looks like we've got quite a lot of stuff as well, which is... We've got a lot of stuff, yeah. We've always love kid day. Yeah, it's like, it's always, it's like when yeah. cricket stuff comes, like bats and stuff. It's always exciting, but yeah, um, new. We've not got our playing stuff yet. New design, I think there's... So there's got a new look, isn't it? Yeah, new look, new... Everything, really. Yeah. Now um, I'm, um, I'm liking it's it. It's going to be... To be honest. Yeah, just for the supporters, there's going to be a limited amount of the new training tops and hoodies. They'll be available for supporters to buy in the club shop very soon. But there's only going to be a fixed amount and more will be available. More won't be available once they're gone. So get that. Yeah. While get it's buying. Get, get buying. that. 100% get buying. Yeah. Um, so before we want to move on to um, some actual cricket chat, is there anything else we need to discuss? Putting it out there. Well, we're going, we're going on Sunday, pre-season. Yeah. Pre-season. Yeah, we'll That's we'll going to Potchestrum. Sing where you live, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's not far. Not far from where my parents parents live. I live, in North, I live in Northampton, mate. No. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> yeah. Where are you where are back, <laughs> back in South Africa? Back in South Africa, where, yeah, you're where I grew address. up. Yeah, it's not far. It's an hour and a half, maybe. Yeah, maybe a visit back to see the family. Yeah, for sure. That would be nice. Hopefully, yeah. I'm going to try and get my parents to drop off my car. Nice bride. We we'll get a nice bride at your house. Yeah, a nice bride of mine on a day off if, if people are keen. But yeah, I'm sure good. we we also keen to go. Well, Brandon, is he? Does he live Brandon back? lives five yeah. minutes from where yeah. my place oh, right, is okay. there. Yeah. Um, but he's not coming. He's He's got his yeah, talk to, to New Zealand, New Zealand to represent the, yeah, the Dutch team. The mighty Dutch. Yeah, yeah that's that's good. good. I think it'll be good, good luck personally. to him. For, yeah, good luck to him. I think... Um, I was a bit sad that we're not going to Singapore, though. Singapore was a nice Singapore place. was a lot of fun, but uh, I do yeah, think that the cricket that we're going to get is going to be a lot better in Poch. Yeah. Yeah, but I guess so. As a, I, place. Sing, as a place, Singapore was Singapore. That was unbelievable, wasn't yeah. it? For me, I would have been in South Africa, so I was ready to go somewhere else. But yeah, I think from yeah, from a cricket perspective, it looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, um, it's good. I've been there before. Well, good facilities. I, I thought Singapore was good, like cricket wise. I thought it was yeah, the were facilities good. were good when we faced playing against yeah. ourselves. But against more jurisdictions when, stuff, when yeah, you when you play against the team, yeah, they weren't as good as the teams that we're going to be playing yeah. against yeah. in South Africa. I, mean, I think we've got what one 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 day and then a couple of. I think we got. Two yeah, two day games and a fifty over game, I think. No, T20. Oh, is it T twenties now? No, no that's fifty question. over. That's what sad. No T twenty. No T twenty. No T twenty. Yeah, I think it's just cricket. Um, T days and fifty yeah, over. over. That'd be good. It'd be good to get some like. It's only ten days as well, isn't it? So it's not not too long. Yeah. Yeah, it's meant to be two weeks. But get back for the season. Well, at least yeah. we're going away. At least we're going away. Get since, outside. Get some sun. Since Singapore's done, yeah. Um, right, onto the onto the season. Onto uh, the serious stuff, yeah. Thoughts. Yeah. 2022 season. What's uh? What do you reckon the, how we're gonna be at the end of the year? Well, I'll start bold calls. Bold calls. Yeah, you you good at these? Call. I'm good at these. Northamptonshire County Cricket Club for Division One title. Oh yeah, that, that is a bold call. That is a very bold call. That has to be the goal. In my in my yeah, opinion, yeah, hundred percent. It's the goal, and I think it's a realistic goal. Personally, I think that. I mean, if you look at how we've gone against the top teams recently. We've been right up there with them. You know, Yorkshire. Yeah, you're talking about the Yorkshire game, the, lost by one the run, Surrey game. Sorry, we've we've been unlucky with injuries. We've now got some good over good signings. Well, we're actually coming on to that, but we, we've got some good signings. And I just think, as a Red Bull team, we're very well rounded, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. I think um, we've got a great team. Good. Yeah, I mean, I know there's, there's always chat if you go into Div One about surviving, but I'm not interested in that. I think we should be trying to compete with with the top teams. 
There's no, there's no point going out yeah. and playing if you don't back ourselves to win. So, of course, that's going to be Oh, a million percent think we can. I mean, it's, it's not really easy, obviously. It's going to be tough. Every, every, every team has good at signings overseas. But I just think, yeah, I think it's a realistic. It's going to be hard, but I think it's going to be a realistic, realistic shout. What, yeah. do you, what do you reckon of our signings? Will Young, Matt Kelly? Will Young, I'm looking forward to it. It's yeah. going to be nice to, as batters, going to, to learn a bit from an international pro. We, have, we haven't had one. Yeah, no. I mean, last year we didn't get, get yeah, one. That's true. He started quite quite well in his international career at the moment. Yeah, really. it's gonna be nice too. Looks a good player. I think as well. See how he goes about things. I think as well, like if you look at where, as a like in in Red Bull cricket, where we've needed like a re, not a replacement, but like strengthening our squad, potentially like a genuine number three or a top order batter. We said, didn't we? Like who likes yeah. to bat all day, and I think he kind of fits that. Mold fits that mold perfect. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah, and then obviously Matt Kelly. Not heard much of him, but. I've seen I've seen a bit of him like in the big bash. He looks decent, decent, decent gas. Yeah, he's quite tall. Hits the pitch hard. So, yeah, yeah, heard heard very good. Heard things. very good things about him, and That's hopefully he does well for us. Yeah, hopefully yeah. he comes in. It's only four short stints. I think he he's six, only here for games, first first six games. Yeah, but I think that's what we need. Yeah, I think um, we'll probably get us off to a good start. We'll probably look to get someone else in good. for the back end, That'd be the good, back yeah. block. But I think he'll he'll so, be. Yeah. Hopefully he does a really good job. Yeah, get us to a good start in the comp, and, and then what do you use the other one? We got Jimmy Nish. Jimmy Nish, yeah, Jimmy Nish. I think that's a really good signing. I think that's a top yeah. class signing. That's that. a top signing for the Blast. I think that's a really good signing. Um, yeah, we'll add to the team both bat, ball, field experience. experience. Yeah, that's quality signing in my opinion. But he's yeah, he's one of the one of being one of the best finishers in the world for quite. quite yeah, good with the ball. That's what we've needed is a. Is a Quality finisher. It's where we yeah. lacked a bit of a... Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Someone, someone, down the someone at the back end. Skipper knows him as well, obviously, from the Welsh Fire. You play Welsh Fire? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so... Yeah, there's connections there. They have so. a few little banter moments on Twitter. It's quite... Yeah. He's good on Twitter, actually. He is. He is. he is good on Twitter. He is good on Twitter. Ah, good, value, good value. He is good value. I've seen a few tweets. It's made me laugh. Yeah, he's good. Good value. So, that might be an insight into his character. We'll see. Yeah. It. Looks like he has some good dry humour, which is, which is always funny. It, yeah. We'll see what he brings. Vasco, what, what competition are you most excited for? The four day, the Champo, Division four-day. Division One. Yeah. Gonna be my first experience in Division One, so I'm really looking forward to that. I think for me it's still the pinnacle of the game is Test Cricket and that's what mm. gets you into the Test side. So that's that's always gonna be my my number one. Obviously the blast and the fifty over stuff is fun and enjoyable and mm. good cricket and all that, but Red Bull cricket for me is still the purest still, form. Yeah, yeah. I, um, You're the same as well, aren't you, Emilio? Yeah, I strongly agree with that. Yeah, I, I was going to say, yeah, I think that's the... Especially in Division 1 now, I mean, you want to compete against the best. And, you know, we're all young here. We've all, all got our own ambitions and to, like, compete week in, week out, week, in, week out against Division 1 teams, I think you can't really get better than that. And like Vasco has just said, I mean, Test cricket's where it's at. That's the pinnacle. So, um, definitely looking forward to the Red Bull game. Rebel format. What are you say? T20. T20. Yeah. He loves the T20 yeah. I blast. Love, I love yeah. the blast, yeah. Well, you say that, to be fair, and yeah, I mean, I know you obviously like your T20s, but you had a good, a very good Red Bull year last year. Yeah, decent. As well. So yeah, you, must, yeah. you must be eyeing up that as well, surely. Oh, yeah, of course. Like like I said, Div 1 as well, like like Ricardo said. Um, yeah, Div 1 is obviously playing against some serious players, some world-class players are going to be playing against us. So, if you do well there, then you know, world's you know, world's in your hands really. So, but yeah, for me, T twenties, T twenties, for me, it's just exciting. Just um, yeah, and hopefully, hopefully now this year we got full houses back in those T twenties. Yeah, Friday nights that and the lights. Be cool, yeah, do, that should be cool. You reckon that make it much of a difference, or in terms in terms of massive difference? Yeah, massive. yeah, yeah. It's always nice to have the crowd on your side. I think. Yeah, it's especially always... here, especially here as well. When you have a full house here. It's loud. It, it's loud. The atmosphere is just, it's just yeah, buzzing. They, you they, feed they, off it. You people feed are off very it. close to the ground, so you literally feel... Yeah. Oh, you, you feed off you the atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah you you take a wicket and... Just gives you that yeah. extra little bit of... That extra yeah. push that you sometimes need. Yeah, no, I think it's a fair point, yeah. Um, looking forward to Hopefully it. Hopefully a few more in the Red Bull stuff as well. Exactly. Rather yeah. than just a little ripple. Little ripple. Little, little, yeah, ripple, exactly. little, little clapping little ripple. ripple. Yeah, I don't think we're getting a... Full house. <laughs> no, um, I'm not expecting a full house. Cricket, Close to a full house, I reckon. Um, yeah, maybe. Now, media eight, team need to do their job selling the tickets, don't they? Yeah, I know. I had a 
couple of fan clubs turn up. <laughs> it's a problem. You know, my dad's got 11 brothers and sisters, so I mean, when they ask oh, yeah, you fill up half the stand. Yeah, I know, exactly, yeah. But <laughs> I'm just giving the people what they want at the end of the day. Oh, uh, and what do they want? Tickets. Watch for day. <laughs> tickets, yeah. They want tickets. Exactly. They want a ticket, I give it to them. Um, got a question here from Matt um, Morrissey. How difficult did you find the transition from um, NCL, which is the league cricket in Northampton, to first class cricket? And did you find anything easier in first class? Um, we've, all, we've, all, we've all played in the, in the Northampton Prem, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. but I, I played for Northampton before I'd done that. So I think this oh, is okay. your, your question. You, you two, you two played it. Yeah, we both players. did. Um, safe. What do you? What do you? It's think? a massive difference, isn't it? Like, oh well, yeah, obviously. Going yeah. from obviously club cricket to yeah to playing sort of first class cricket. You're. I mean, you've got second team in between that as well, haven't you? Really? So sec- yeah, yeah, I guess so. But it's just sort of obviously the question is from from there to first yeah, class from cricket. So to first class, it's, yeah, from first class. It is a big jump. But also, it's it's good. You you almost club cricket is quite hard because you go from playing on good pitches to going playing on you know some. Some highly average, yeah, dodgy pitches, pitches, yeah. <laughs> pitches um, and obviously you got to find a way to like score runs on there. So I reckon if you do well in club cricket, you know, especially for for us lads, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. Find, put you find, in good stead, can't it? find a way. You have to find a way. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think you can't. I personally compare the standard. I mean, you know, from first class cricket to league cricket I mean the difference is like too big but I'm in terms of the pitches and stuff like that especially as well like pace bolt like the pace of bowlers as well you know, yeah you go from facing like an 85 mile per hour bowler on a quick wicket to then facing like some bowler bowling 65 on a wet one like a yeah, slow it's wet one completely different yeah it's, it's just two different like, skills I'd actually normally sometimes rather face, I'd take the 85, yeah, 85 yeah exactly but then you um, then you've got Vasco taking fifers yeah. No, look, okay. I think some some might remember me as one of the best off spinners the league's ever seen. <laughs> oh, some yeah. some what, won't. What, but what's your average again? I don't know what my average is, but I can tell you what my figures were that day, that faithful day. Well, means who was it against? It was against Charlie Thurston's team, which was Rushton. Yeah, Rushton. Yeah. Rush. Yeah, Rushton. Yeah. Rushton. Rushton yeah. Um, Chaz, you was, get him out. You, you I didn't get Chaz out. I came. I came on to bowl after he'd gone out. Didn't last very long, Chaz. Oh, so he didn't bowl against the, the, the only clean up tail enders. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> I was first change. Chaz didn't make. Okay. Chaz didn't make it through the first. Oh, wow. the new oh, ball. Nicked off early. Unfortunately. Yeah, okay. But I bowled six overs that day. Five wickets. Yeah. Five runs. It's not bad. It's not bad. Five wickets. Five runs. Wow. Six overs. Five for five. That's, any that's any better than any well or not? Did you get your money's worth? No, did they get their money? They got worth? their money's worth Sorry. with my fivers. Yeah. <laughs> I think I got like five <laughs> also with the bat. Yeah, good. Um, five with the bat, five, yeah. Yeah, but retired, retired from retired the, from bowling. From bowling. I think, I retired, think, I think yeah. you should. They, well. People say you retire at your, your best. Leave people wanting more, not less. That's yeah. what I always say. That's true. I've also got another question. Who's a better bowler, you or Ben Curran? Oh, wow. That is this, I think that I back is, myself. Wow. I think wow, yeah, that is scraping the barrel. Right? Ben, ben was bowling a few seamers last year, wasn't he? Yeah, he's tried it all. I don't know what he's doing. And then he's he was bowling, bowling off both. He's trying it all. He's shame. He's he's trying. But <laughs> yeah, he's trying. But... He's trying. Chaz has improved. Chaz. Yeah. Chaz is now a decent spinner. I think we're going yeah. to see a bit of Charlie Thurston turning his arm over. That's yeah. a, got a couple of wickets in the podcast exclusive. That. Yeah. Seeing him too. <laughs> I, I actually think you know if you put him in a T20 game, big boundary. Five minutes out. But you need a big boundary. Yeah. You need a very, you very need, big you boundary. You need a big boundary. Yeah, a big boundary. <laughs> We're playing the MCG. Five yeah. men out. I reckon he's I cleaning he's, up. He's tough work. <laughs> yeah, I reckon, I reckon he's, he's tough up. work, yeah. Um, Media, no. did you experience any sledging in the North Hands? Yes. I think sledging's worse at club cricket than it is at pro level. Well, yeah. I, I experienced a lot of it when I started. I didn't experience much of it my last year because last year I didn't play in the Prem. I played in different league and then the year before but you were chasing cash when you no nah, new environment sub, sub pro sub <laughs> new, pro nah. new, new environment all of the new cash. environment, new environment. Five, five hours oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey look lads you yeah, do what you gotta you do, do put food on the table um, <laughs> now nah, in all seriousness I got a lot of it as a youngster like 17, 18 I got a lot just because of the way I am and I you know what? It's not far off, actually, in first-class cricket. You know, I don't think for me. Well, you, yeah, yeah you. In general, you bring it on yourself. In gen- yeah, in general, no, obviously not. But for <laughs> me, 
the way I am, my natural character and, you know, my cocky personality, all of that kind of stuff, I think I attract it a bit. I've got a lot against Lanks and Yorkshire, you know, those yeah. teams give it a lot anyway, but I've got a lot against them. Sorry, got quite a bit. Um, it's all right. Yeah, I like funny it. enough, I've got none against those teams. You must like batting with me, don't you? Because everyone just yeah. sledges me. Lovely. Have you, have you had any sledging in any games? Not really, no. I'm yeah. just a nice guy. The only time I heard someone say anything to you was when Rush was, you, we were walking out to bank in Durham and Russia said, please just get 40 today or something. You, you average about 100 against them. <laughs> so please just get 40. Yeah, and then you nicked me off for like two. <laughs> yeah. Got yeah, in my head. Yeah, he did. Rush with. <laughs> did That's work. what he does. He strangled me down the leg side that, that innings. And I said to Keezy, I think I said to him, I'm convinced he meant to do it. He I wouldn't put it past him. Yeah. He, he is that good. I reckon he meant to do it. very good. <laughs> It nips and went down next time. It, it nips. Uh, it does nip. Um, but yeah, no, nah, I don't know. Sledging, what about you, Safe? Short, n- mm. Not much in county cricket. I did I did in my first couple of years. I was I was 16. I remember playing uh, at home against Leicester. Um, and someone who was notorious for it back then was Charlie Shrek. I'm not sure if you guys heard of him. Yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah, he, uh, he told me that and you need to get an ambulance ready because I'm going to break your rib. And he was yeah. just chucking it short every single ball trying to hit me and yeah it, it, it was it was actually quite enjoyable for me because i just laughed in his face and he, he didn't get me out and he bowled about 50 mile an hour oh so, is he not quick no he, oh, wasn't, he wasn't that quick. yeah that's fine oh, lovely. if he's quick yeah. ask him if he was Keep quick digging him in. if he, if he yeah. was lovely if he was like uh what's his name uh Hasnain. Mohammed has name oh he, he was bowling when he was bowling he was bowling quick i was 12th man that or yeah 12th man that day when he was bowling gas that day you got hit yeah i hate one and I think Cobby or something, yeah. And I remember like Rip, someone got concussed and Rip said, immediately you might have to get your pads on it. Yeah, I, I got, looked at him and I was I like, got concussed. No, thank you. <laughs> he was bowling rapid. I, no, I went out rapid. that day, he was facing a spinner and one of the, I think it was Fuck as a Man, he went, right, hasn't his warming up. And I was like, oh no. Oh <laughs> yeah, no. No, 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 please don't do that. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it was, was quick that. Yeah, that was, that was good. Yeah, nah. Um, to be fair, actually, I saw you get quite a lot from uh, Yorkshire when you played it. Oh, yeah. And it was a good knock as well. At, at Yorkshire. At Yorkshire, at yeah. Yeah, Yorkshire, yeah. Eddie, when, he, yeah. when he was getting stuck in. Yeah, f- I think a few of them said said a few things. Did they? Like, lied and stuff like that. But, yeah, lied to them for it. No, nah, you just sort of, you just shrug it off. Like, you just, yeah. It's just part of the game, isn't it? You just, it is. I think it the more, the the more you get involved in it, the more the more they're going to go at you. So it's just sort of just, like, that's, that's my own tactic anyway. Yours, obviously, different. You know, I think for me, different. I think for me, the exciting thing about getting sl- like chat is one, you know, you're in a battle there. Obviously, you know, I think Phil Rose said it to me once. You know, if they honestly thought you weren't any good, they probably wouldn't bother. You know, they'd just nick you off and see you later. But if you're getting chat and you like overcome that and get some runs, I think no matter who it is, it Yorkshire you, Lancs, you gain their respect. You, do you know what I mean? You get a bit of confidence. Yeah, you get confidence. You yeah. gain their respect. So I mean, it's all at the end of the day, it's just professional sport, isn't it? You're gonna get. You're gonna get it. It's gonna be tough. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's all part of the game. Exactly. Next question from Ben Rigdon. Um, Vasco, do you want to kick us off with this? Who's the best? Sorry, what is the best game you've played? Played in for the county? I don't think that's last year, just in general. Yeah, in general, I'd you say last year, it was want. last year. For me personally, it was Glamorgan at home, yeah. chasing down chasing. three three fifty on the last day. Yeah, that was a cool game. I think the only thing that would have. Ah, oh, just like a 180, 180 oh, okay. rate. Yeah, but, okay, yeah. you know, I, did, I didn't bring it up. Yeah, um, yeah, of course not. <laughs> I think yeah. if if we had a crowd in that day, I think it would have been would have been bouncing. Yeah, I think that would have added to it. I think that would have made it honestly the best game I've ever played played yeah, in. But yeah, I yeah. Think, that's, that I think that's one really I'd go chase. for. Yeah, I remember watching that and thinking, like, that's yeah, that's a serious effort. Yeah, that was a serious knock that day. Cheers. Well done. Well done. Cheers, bro. Thanks. So that's after. Um, <laughs> what are you safe? Um, T twenty, not last year, the year before the COVID year, when we, when Tom Taylor he yeah. got us over got the us, line, got us into the quarterfinals. We were, how many oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we, were, we, we were dead and buried. We were dead and buried. That was at Edge Baston, wasn't it? At Edge Baston. I was he, thinking, what the hell? That was his debut. That was his was debut. His debut. Yeah, yeah, that was his yeah. debut for us, um, and it was just ridiculous. Him and Keezy did. Well. And then Graham Whitey, Whitey and came then in. And then came in. And, and he just whacked it. And it was just unbelievable. And I think that's the loudest we've ever um, sung, sang, the song. sung the song. Like, yeah. As in, that was just ridiculous. Because we like we needed to win that game to get to get through. Because that was to get into the quarters. And we just lost four on the bounce. And it was, yeah, that was that was ridiculous. Like, 
What yeah. are my words for that, that game? Yeah. Yeah. Good that chat. Sounds, um, yeah, I was. I remember watching that. I think it was like MV play or whatever. And I was. I remember just turning off my phone. Uh, we've lost. Yeah, I was carrying drinks. Yeah. I was also like. Yeah, I, was, I just like wow. turned it off, and I remember like thirty minutes later on the group chat, I just saw like well done boys exclamation mark beer emoji all of this. What? <laughs> I went on. I was like, nah, that is ridiculous. Like, that's incredible. That, that was Some of the shots that, he played were incredible. That was yeah. that was genuinely one of the best matches I've ever seen. What Tom yeah. Taylor? That was yeah. yeah. That was that's up there. Yeah, that's up there with like like uh, Ducky at finals day like, when he. In, in, in like the final yeah. and quarters and stuff like that. Like, yeah. It was, that's, that's, it's up there, one of the best ones I've seen. Yeah. And you, Amelia? I don't, I mean, I don't know. I've only played for, a, I've only played for a year, really, let's be honest. I only played last year. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think I'll win any win. Probably, <laughs> probably the 50 over, the 50 over game here against Derby was a pretty good game, I think. Because um, we were like, we needed a win. Um, we got close towards the end. Um, everyone chipped in. We bowled really well, like to start with. We had them on toast. Like I think they were like four down, and they had like twenty runs. And then they just started whacking it and came back. Yeah. And we we thought we ruined it. And then we started really well, and then we had a bit of a blip in the middle, and then we won it in the end. And for me, because I've not played much cricket, but for me that was like, every, that that was everything in that game. Everything ups and downs. Yeah. Everything. So that was good. Um, but yeah, hopefully it's many more this year um, in all formats. Um, so a couple of people have asked, which Indian player, I like this question actually, which Indian player would you love to have in the Northamptonshire dressing room? Say, I'd like Guess to Guess who you're going to say. Go on. Rishabh? Uh, yeah, I, actually, that is yeah, 100%. I was, I was thinking. I was thinking, Rishab. yeah, it's such a shout. I think, yeah, I think I'd like Rishabh Pant. I think. As in, as a... As a cricketer, or like we're we talking about as a bloke, or we're we talking both, or just I reckon I think, both. I, th I reckon both. I reckon he'd be rogue. Yeah, he just do the roguest things, but also he's just unbelievable. You think you could learn a lot from him? Like I reckon I could. Yeah. Yeah, Rishab. Yeah, I'd he keeps wanna... as well, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah I can keep as well. It's, it's... Yeah, I could, I could, yeah, I want to be that Rishab. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's... yeah, he plays all formats as well, doesn't he? So I mean, he just give it a whack. Fair enough. It doesn't surprise me. What about you? I'd love Jasper Bumrah to come in and clean blokes up. Yeah, we've got to face him in the nets. Yeah, I don't have to. I can just yeah, uh, can say, so just got, say to the coaches. You've got the power for that. Say yeah. to the coaches, please. I forgot, yeah, please. sorry. Um, Jasper. Jasper. Just from, from Rips' good old days with his stick. Every Yorker you bought. I think he'd have like, a lot to our team, yeah. <laughs> I think he would Especially clean like, blokes up. We've struggled a little bit, haven't we, in Rebel cricket, like cleaning tails, tails, tails up. up. For sure, and I think we need like... Yeah, a boomer or a Stark. We, I'll take that. Think, thank you. Who who has buckets in their team? We need someone for the field slip as well. It's another one we need. <laughs> <laughs> Which Indian player, say? Indian international oh, cricketer. Yeah. Sorry. Just going back That's to the question. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I thought you were talking about our team. No. Uh, Indian yeah. players. Who? Indian? Yeah. Oh, mate, the GOAT. I'm taking... The, I'm taking, the GOAT. I'm Vera. Taking, Vera. I'm taking Vera. Buckets. The GOAT. Yeah, I'm, taking, I'm taking Vera. And he can catch Every other week. Yeah, yeah, as a player and as a buckets, I mean, what he'll give to the team. To be fair, Brumman's not a, far off. Any of those Indian players, mate, they're absolutely unbelievable. Like, there's so yeah. many that there's, there's, there's so, so many that come so many into Indian the, the side. That, yeah, and like this recent do well series, straight away. This recent series that they're playing, like some of the guys that are like debuting and stuff like that, like and dominating and absolutely smashing it. Like, yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. Go on, if we could have one signing, forget the signings we've just had. You can sign one player for all formats this year. Any, any, any player, any for well, any team, any team in the world. Yeah, for us this year, who are you, who are you picking? Go on, Seth. No, <laughs> Ricardo first. Uh, you can't say diminution or Will Young. No, obviously. Or Matt Kelly. Obviously. Mm. Pat Cummins. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a good shout. That's a serious shout. That is a good shout. I reckon Rockets, and he can bat. Are we catching his Knicks, though? <laughs> I mean, probably not, but <laughs> he just needs to bowl straight. He just needs to bowl straight, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. true. That is true. No, we've been working on our Knicks. We've been working on Yeah, we have now. We have Knickers, that, yeah, that's just a throw just, comment we have. It's just, yeah. yeah Light-hearted fun, isn't it? Laughing yeah. at some of our... Yeah, no. What about you, Safe? <laughs> oh, it's a tough shout, man. Um, I'm going to go with... Someone like 
I would just have to go Baba, the king. For me, Baba Azam. Baba Azam, yeah. He's, Top he's the king. He's the best. What about Rizwan? Rizwan's done. Rizwan. He's up there, but he's playing for Sussex, so it's yeah. sort of. So you can't, yeah, he is. So, it's you can't really, so you can't really sign him, can you? Baba back at Somerset this year? No, no I, I, haven't, I haven't seen anything. I don't think so. No. But if, yeah, Baba would be unreal. Because yeah. all formats, he'll, the average is like, what, 50? So. Yeah. Mm. Obviously. Yeah, it's a good shout. I think for me, it's hard to overlook Steve Smith, Smudger, but I will overlook him for this for this instance. It's hard for me to overlook him, but no minus as well. No minus, he doesn't quite make the cut. He's playing for Glamorgan. Glamorgan can keep him. I'm taking Smudger, but let's say Smudger gets injured, can't come over. Josh Hazelwood. Yeah, that another bloke, one. That bloke is a wizard. Another, I think he'd nick people off for fun. Not, 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 yeah. Bu- not Bhuvaneshwar Kumar. No, Josh no. Hazelwood. I'm taking Hazelwood, all formats. Again. All formats. We're catching the Knicks. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But he'd get enough. He'd get enough. You get enough. We, 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 if he gets 10 Knicks, if we eventually. catch two, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. you know, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I'm taking Josh Hazelwood. But nah, well, we'll see. Hopefully, Matt Kelly is the next Josh Hazelwood. Hopefully. We'll see. Hopefully, he does well. Um, so, yeah. Just a quick one then. Season tickets. T20 season tickets, um, seven blast fixtures, and the Charlotte Edwards Cup T20 for £99. Pounds. So what a, what a steal, isn't it? That is it. Yeah, I like that. It's a steal. Like, like, yeah, that is a steal. That is a um, steal. That is a steal. So, yeah. Um, Good deal. Get your hands on those. Um, Say, would you like to um, sign us off as we um, wrap up this podcast? Yeah, I've uh, thoroughly enjoyed Good. this first podcast. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, signing off. Thanks to El Gato. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thanks. thank you. Thank you very much. And thanks, we'll guys. You, uh, we'll see that you was fun. Across. Yeah. Thank you. Peace. Thanks. Cheers.